7E in Rockefeller Center. This is News for New York. Also in the hour, where you can find the last minute prom dress at a really good price. A question I was asking myself just, wow, okay, just this morning. <laughs> Coming up after the break from dresses that you can pick up today. They're all under 100 bucks, all Hollywood inspired. If you're looking, hey girls, oh, Jeff's in the middle, look at this. <laughs> Jeff, act your. Welcome back on this Saturday morning. Well, one of our favorite friendly co-workers, Donna Zadie, has been pulling her hair out, running around all week, trying to help her daughter, Shannon, put a last-minute prom outfit together. Why they waited to the last minute, I just do not know. But, yes, I do. I'm one of those people, too. I'm president of the Procrastinators Club. But if you're in the same boat as Donna and Shannon, do not panic, because Sarah Gardner, who is president of FashionUpdate.com, is here to tell us that you can find a Hollywood-inspired prom dress that your daughter will love. And here's the best part. Prices are all right, so let's start the show. How you doing? It's great to be here. We're talking about fabulous prom deals. Now, it's all about Hollywood glamour. Is that what it is this year? Absolutely. The theme? Absolutely. I found at Payless Dresses in Morris Avenue in Queens. They've got 7,000 square feet of gowns, thousands of gowns that are in sizes 2 to 24. They're all $89.99. All including for this? Exactly. The for example, Emily is wearing? Emily is wearing a beautiful turquoise halter oh gown. Oh, my goodness. It's got the ruffles down the front with the brooch. It's all about that elegant, sexy back. Beautiful. Isn't Let's that, see the back, that Emily. Can you turn for us? Sexy back. Oh, that's so that pretty. Beautiful? And Ariana is wearing a fun <laughs> red print. It's a mermaid style. Yes. Notice it's... that brooch. And notice in the back the beautiful bow. And as, as Can you turn walks, for us, Ariana, so you, please? Yeah, it's beautiful in the back. Oh, drama. that is pretty. Now, also, she's got another prom deal on. It happens to be in her hair. On Harley came here from Dramatics NYC in Manhattan. They've got deals on hair. They're offering for 10% off, 10% off on, you know, for the whole prom season. They're going to do the updos. Oh, okay. And this is like $40. And, you know, she's got the fun hair extension. With the little the color face. thing. Yeah, that, that and that's with. really important because okay. you've got to get your hair done. You've got to look great. And you made all the girls look great. Yes, indeed. And next. next Jennifer is wearing Hi, Jen. a lipstick red. It's a gladiator style. Pretty. Lots of cutouts. Yeah, no, I see. This. It's not pretty. Everything's and studs on the front. Now, notice in the back is a kick pleat. Now as her she mother walks, knows she has that it's tattoo. very dramatic. <laughs> as her, yeah, very dramatic. Show us. As, as, isn't that very yeah. oh, dramatic? Look, that is all pretty. Hollywood glamour. Satin. And all these are $89.99. Unbelievable. Payless dresses. It's a secret warehouse in Mad Pep in Queens. Thousands of gowns. Not a secret Thousands. anymore. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, and also Katie is Hi, wearing Katie. a turquoise halter gown with beautiful peekaboo rhinestone peek notice notice the beautiful <laughs> rhinestone detail that is so pretty and it is it's gorgeous they've got them in all colors here all different styles it's all about the hollywood glamour and i noticed katie's painted her toenails to match we cannot let that go unnoticed <laughs> that she has not. done that. Okay. beautiful they've, they've, got, they've got everything here for everyone for example yulena our next model thank you katie our next model yulena, oh, yulena. doesn't want to wear a gown which is understandable okay. all right and she's wearing a very uh, poochy inspired print Below the knee. Below the knee, but. And uh, she's also got a sale on, they've got shoes there, like hundreds of shoes in designer brand names. $29.99. No. Unbelievable. And her faux pearl necklaces from Asia Rustic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the best part are the deals. They've got famous brand names from the gowns that we're not allowed to mention. Really? All the department stores are selling them right now. It's all current. And as well as the shoes, it's all, we're just not allowed to mention the brands because that's where you're getting the great Exactly. Deal. For 7,000 square feet, it's going to be packed today. Ladies, why don't you all come in and let us see how let's beautiful you look. Have fun. It's a rainbow. It's like yes. a rainbow prom. So come everybody on, come set on. now. Come, come, come closer. Okay, so it's beautiful. all sparkles, got... brooches, and backs out. And they're all from, <laughs> they're all from Perdoza High School. And oh, you can ladies, find out about you. all these deals on fashionupdate.com okay. and all the deals for the prom season. Oh, well, thank, thank you so much. Thank you all, ladies. You look fabulous. You can just leave right here and go to your prom. <laughs> don't sleep. Don't get you your hair. Great. Don't mess up your hair. You know? Thank all right. Thank you so much. And we're coming right back with your seven day forecast. You. From all of us here, first of all. Did you wash all, your hands first? No. Okay. <laughs> first of all, many of you, can, yes, of course I did. Many of you can send on your message to us. Of course, we like to read them. MyFoxNY.com. And then your loved one can see them right here. It's pretty exciting. Right on Fox 5, you right mean here. right here on it's the very air? Exciting. At the bottom of the screen. Oh. So
Uh, is there one up there right There's now? There's one Look right this. there. Look at the lovely little this things. Is, this is See it. it? Wonderful. Beautiful. And you can do this. All you right. can send a nice message to And with a little more help for your special someone, here's our Rick Fobaum with a couple of last minute ideas. Let's eat this now. No. Tito's Let's Wall that. Street is known for great Italian food down in the financial district. But did you know you can book a table for two in their mahogany old world wine cellar surrounded by 3,000 vintage bottles of vino? That would make for a romantic dinner. And tonight, they're offering a special five course meal perfect for the holiday. Look at what you can choose from and look at what you can drink. Sarah Gardner of Fashion Update knows the secret recipe. We've got two shots of white chocolate Godiva, one shot of cream de cocoa, blend it in a cup of ice, and voila, you've got a chocolate sweetheart martini. Fino's feast runs 75 bucks a person. Or maybe you'd like to dine overlooking the Hudson with Lady Liberty in the distance. Here's Steamer's Landing in Battery Park. Sarah likes this place, too. They're giving you a three-course Valentine's Day dinner, and they're including the raspberry champagne. Steamer's special menu tonight with tons of great choices includes oysters, which everyone knows are supposed to get you in the mood for you-know-what. Steamer's three-course meal runs $48 a person. You can find the recipe for the chocolate martini on our website, myfoxny.com. And if you're still hoping to make a reservation for dinner tonight, you better get on it right now. Rick Fulbaum, Fox 5 News. All right, a satellite. Measures from dinner deals to free haircuts to spa treatment specials, you can still pamper yourself a bit and not put a big strain on your ever tightening finances. We'll show you how coming up. So stay right here. We know it's uh, not easy making it through these troubled times, but we are going to try to help, so don't miss our special coverage. That starts at about 10.30. Most people are tightening their belts these days, but you may be surprised to find out that some of life's little luxuries are still within your budget. Ella Mars tells us about some affordable, guilty pleasures. It may not be a necessity, but during these stressful financial times, a little pampering couldn't hurt. Bargain expert Sarah Gardner took us to Graceful Services in Manhattan, where in a soothing environment above Second Avenue, professional hands go to work on those tense muscles. A one-hour massage is now half off, so instead of $120, you'll pay only $60. There's also an economical massage and facial combo available. The 50 minute facial, 50 minute massage, regularly 160, a hundred dollars. Gourmet dining doesn't have to drain your wallet either. Here at the Water Street Restaurant and Lounge, set in the shadows of the Brooklyn Bridge, customers can sample a variety of foods prepared by award-winning chef Mark Elliott, like this blackened catfish. Add to it chilled artichoke and a peach cobbler for dessert, plus a glass of wine or beer, and you've got yourself an elegant prefix dinner all for $27, as long as you arrive before 7 p.m. For the walk over Brooklyn Bridge, you're probably saving $10, $20 per person for the same items. Owner Jeff Rodman suggests you top off dessert with a walk through the Roebling Room, which houses the Brooklynites vintage photo gallery and a pool table. Finally, if tofu soup, and it's served up at BPD Tofu House in Manhattan. I'm Lauren Glassberg, and that's where we're headed for this week's Neighborhood Eats. And I'm Neighborhood Eats, and we are eating healthy mm -hmm. this week. Yes, we are. It's about time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tofu and the many ways it can be made. Lauren Glassberg is here with more. They say that tofu takes on the flavors of the items it's mixed with. So you can use tofu in soup and flavor it with vegetables, beef, chicken, or seafood. Something for really any palate. It's a popular dish at BCD Tofu House, located at 17 West 32nd Street in Manhattan. There's a bustling stretch of 32nd Street where you'll feel transported to Korea and among the eateries, BCD Tofu House. It has other locations around the world but only opened in New York in October. The Koreans would like to share everything, the food, um, their feelings, everything. And so when you come here to the, the BCD Tofu House, you will help you will uh, share the food with everybody. So get ready to pass plates and serve yourself from the grill at the center of the table. This restaurant is open 24 hours. The tofu soup is popular at all times. It's good, very good for, for, for uh, hangover. <laughs> I'm serious. Who knew? Tofu soup. What?
It comes in a variety of flavors. I like the seafood. The, the mushroom is good. Um, and uh, the spice is really good for me, you know, that, that level of heat. To make it, Chef Zhang Ding starts with a ceramic bowl that fits perfectly over the burner. The first ingredient is beef broth, which is flavored with red pepper, garlic, and salt. In goes the seafood, clams, oysters, shrimp, and mussels, and then the tofu. And that eventually melts a little bit, right? It yeah. softens. It's brought to a boil, and as it cooks down, a little extra pepper for those who like spice. The soup comes with a side of rice. Rice comes with just about everything. And if you're not sure what to try, there's help. The waitresses were great, yeah. Were you sure about what to order, or did they help you No, through? she helped me, and she even drew a little circle, so i know what I was getting. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> and we have the recipe for the tofu soup on our website at 7online.com. But BCD Tofu House is again open around the clock in case you get a craving for tofu soup. And it's a little spicy. It out. is spicy. That's right. Sometimes they add a little spice. extra pepper. And I said for you guys, extra pepper. Well, I like it spicy. So I think it's actually good. Good. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good way to entree into uh, tofu. Into tofu. Yes. Yes. Okay, we'll be trying all this uh, out. Hit, hit the back of the throat. Yeah. Yeah. A pay retail. Coupon guru Sarah Gardner says retailers are more willing than ever to offer deals. And we're talking about saving 10 to 30 percent off. At sites like Valpack.com, just plug in your save between 25 and 30 dollars every shopping trip. Never pay retail. Coupon guru Sarah Gardner says retailers are more willing than ever to offer deals. And we're talking about saving 10 to 30 percent off. At sites like Valpack.com, just plug in your zip code and a list of stores in your area pops up with printable coupons. We found one New York City children's store that even offered to pay our cab fare. Want to make sure you're getting the best deal? Go to PriceGrabber.com, do the comparison shopping. Type in the product name for a list of prices starting with the best. And once you've found the best price, you can search for even more savings. Just enter the name of the retailer on sites like Current Codes and Coupon Craze that provide discount codes. Some sites will even email coupons you can print. Before taking her coupons to the store, Allison logs on to a site like gasbuster.com to find the cheapest place to fill up in her area. Every little bit helps. Especially when you're trying to make a shrinking dollar go farther. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News, New York. Now for the extended holiday weekend, and we're scrambling for great dishes to entertain our guests. Well, Chef Robert Joseph Gonzalez from Greenhouse Cafe, just off beautiful Shore Road in Brooklyn, is here this morning to show us how to make some stuffed shrimp with a citrus chive sauce. A little something different. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. Get some, takes as much time as it would to like make a hamburger patty, it's, right? It's very quick. Very it's quick, and it's good. Yeah. And we're talking that now. Today would be a good day for this because we're talking about an indoor. This is an indoor recipe. You don't have to throw this on the grill, right? It might rain, Sally and selling us. So tell us what we're doing, darling. Okay. What we're going to do is make a crab meat stuffing. Okay. Right? So these it's are jumbo uh, Are these jumbo shrimp? These are, these are U15 you shrimp. They're, you, they're, they're U15. It's called under 15. Oh, okay. Under 15 as in, okay. So that, go ahead. Right ahead, honey. What we're going to do is put crab meat. Is this canned? Yes. Okay. You can't go with potatoes. It's, well, it's fresh. Potatoes. Fresh so yes. you shredded them and cooked them? Or what did Yes, it's, uh, it's been, uh, it was boiled for five minutes, uh -huh. right? and then then peeled and shredded. Okay, for the potato to give it a little consistency. Right. Okay. Okay, and uh, dry chives. Mm hmm And shallots. Ooh, shay. gotta have shallots. Black pepper. Uh huh. Garlic. Okay. And. So you can have your guests running back and forth to the pantry getting this stuff for you while you're, you know, yes, right? Okay. Exactly. Hey, what is that? Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Okay. And That's your stuffing. Yes. A little olive oil. Now, you, the, the, you said the U15 shrimp. Now, I have never actually stuffed a shrimp, so obviously you want to peel it first and clean it, but it looks like you yes. left the tail on. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's more for a decoration. Oh, okay. I but, thought um, we were going to pick it up. Okay. This time we so just it. bam, just like that. And you butterfly it all the butterfly way. Butterfly it, flatten it, and then. Okay, now, okay. so we're gonna. Do you have your little utensils there? We're we gonna stir that, do that with our. Oh, I'm and an egg. Do it with my hands. An, an egg. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. 
Okay. Talk to me. I'm sorry, honey. I'm, I'm just sorry. took over your recipe. Thanks. So you had two eggs. Two eggs, mm -hmm. right? Okay, you mix this up. It comes out better if you mix it with your hands. Really? Okay. Yeah. I was going to get you a spoon or something, but okay. So no, it comes out much. You can mix it much better with your hands. Because you're mashing. You mash to get right. that consistency. All righty. And. And, the, and now we. But you know, if you have gloves, it's great. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that without them. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a mess. Okay. So. How much do you need for how many shrimp? Like, it depends, obviously. How many um, cans of crab meat, I guess? One, one can is fine. Okay. For because after you make your stuffed shrimp, you could put a little mayonnaise in the stuffing oh. and make crab cakes out oh, of it. Good thinking. Mm. No, no, wait a minute. So you're stuffing these. Some, you're literally stuffing them. Are you? Yes. We're not going to close them, fold them back? No. no. Oh, okay. You're just making an oblong shape right, and form it on top of the shrimp. Oh, okay. And pat it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that that's makes it a little easier. I was wondering how we we're going to we're stuffing the shrimp. How we we're going to because they're so little. That's why I thought we'd be using jumbo jumbo shrimp. Okay, delicious. Okay. And then bam, in. Okay, out. that's it. Okay, yeah. and then voila. Well, that's pretty much voila. it. Voila, into the oven. Into they the go oven. And out of the oven. Oh wait, 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 baby, that's hot. And hot, okay. Wish it here. You go. And there TV you go. magic, right? All right, TV magic. Oh, <laughs> look at go. that. Not only that, we've doubled <laughs> the recipe. <laughs> Look at that. Magic. It's oh, amazing. my goodness. They look delicious. And the citrus chive sauce. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, the, si some. the chive sauces. We want to add that. Or you yeah. want to dip it? I'm going to place this on the plate. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. I'm helping. Trying to help out here. I am yeah. no, I'm sorry, no sous chef here. No, Very you're good. You're doing great. Beautiful. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. That looks absolutely delicious. And now citrus chive sauce. Don't want to do it without that. No. Um, I have it mm. pre-made already. Uh, what are you making? This is a citrus chive sauce. Okay, no, but what, are we, what is the base for the stock? Okay, it's orange, lemon, lime. Orange, lemon, lime juice. Parsley. A little parsley. Chives, uh -huh. fresh chives. Uh huh. And garlic. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And seafood stock. Oh, which that I was already seafood have in here. stock. Okay, I was okay. wondering. I didn't. I didn't know if it was a chicken stock or. Oh, it looks good. And, and I like to serve it with mixed mm, vegetables. Smells great. And go. bam. And. and Bam! And I hope you're going to taste it. Of course, I'm going to taste it. I couldn't. I wouldn't let us. I've, I've been working so hard to make the recipe. And what, what else do you have here? You have a grilled salmon too. Yes, yeah, so you can get this fork. dish at the Greenhouse Cafe too. Hold on, I'm going to grab the fork. Talk to me. Was where we're located right next to the promenade. Okay. On um, in on Shore Road in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, okay. Bay Ridge. Okay. And. Oh. I'm sorry, did I mess it up? And the, no, no, it's right. fine. It looks great. Okay. It's on our $25 prefix menu. Ah. So it comes with every, uh, you can get seafood salad and everything with it and dessert, cheesecake. We have like so many different desserts. And, and if you're not into the shrimp, and, I see a delicious grilled chicken dish here. Yeah, we have and, grilled balsamic chicken. Mm -hmm. This is our exotic salad with grilled salmon, which you can also put the chicken on too. Mm. We do it like a lot of different ways. Mm. And mm -hmm. is, that, is that great mm -hmm. or what? I made enough for everybody here. So if anybody else wants to. <laughs> you are delicious. Thank you so much. Get it? You're delicious. That means great things. <laughs> Thanks Thank again. Thank you, Chef Gonzalez from the Greenhouse Cafe for the recipe. And if you want to know what to do, if you want the recipe, you can log on to WNBC.com slash weekend today in New York. Thank you, sir. When we come back, what's Thank that? you. Yo, your pleasure to have you here. <laughs> not the best part of the party we know it's the food and joining us right now to show us how to throw a Super Bowl winning spread is Sarah Gardner editor-in-chief of fashionupdate.com Sarah thanks for joining us wonderful to be here okay. show us what you got we're talking about for giant home decorations we found at Party City we've got the, the paper plates we've got the tablecloths and we've got the ice bucket giants now for memorabilia that. at Models, we got the poster we've got the giant mugs but of course now, the party that people the are going to remember is the absolutely. food. Absolutely. Okay, first, four great restaurants. The first one is at Greenhouse Cafe, located in Brooklyn. We're talking about the spicy wings, the southern fried chicken, and the hot spicy mm. ribs. It's made with beer and honey and brown sugar. They've got a championship, championship yummy mm. with whipped cream and strawberries. It's their pound cake. You can make it at home. Next, at Steamer's Landing on the Hudson River, located in Battery Park City, they're sharing their macaroni and cheese, their vegetarian chili, and this is their carbonata dip. It's great to mm. go with your chips and your dips. The more it's traditional fare for the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's an eggplant salad, spicy, and they've got their delicious meatballs. Mm. Now
next at Casa Pepe, located in Brooklyn. We're talking about from their sample of their tapas menu. It's their tortilla española. It's a Spanish omelet. Okay. It's made with eggs, potatoes, and onions. It's a finger food. Healthy, I'm guessing. <laughs> Absolutely. And the famous guacamole. Go with your chips and your dips. All of these recipes, Charles, they're all on fashionupdate.com, and or I'm telling everybody, we can go to myfoxny.com and get all the recipes. Sarah, thank you very much. Thank this you. This is definitely a winning good. Super Bowl spread. This week in Neighborhood Eats, a Japanese restaurant that feels like the real deal. But you don't need to travel all the way to the Far East, only as far as Queens. Lauren Glassberg is here with more. And the chef trained for many years in Tokyo. You mm. can see his passion when he works, and he now brings it to Katsuno. It is located at 103-01 Metropolitan Avenue, and that is in Forest Hills, Queens. I have actually visited Japan, and I loved the food when I was there, and this is the first place that I've been to in this country that's really like eating in Japan. But this restaurant is conveniently in walking distance from her home in Forest Hills. Katsuno opened just five months ago, but this has been in the works for the husband and wife team for years. We love this neighborhood. It was our dream uh, to open a small restaurant in our lovely neighbors. And it is a small restaurant with a teeny kitchen where Katsuyuki Seo does all the cooking. He trained in Tokyo and customers sense his attention to detail, whether it's with sushi or his noodles. It's fresh and it's like really, it has a very al dente texture, so it really stands up to the cooking. His teriyaki may be one of the easiest recipes to follow. He starts with sake and mirin and burns off the alcohol. To that he adds soy sauce and a little sugar and brings it to a boil. For the chicken, a quick dusting in potato starch and it's sautéed in oil with the lid on top. A quick turn and then the teriyaki is poured on top. Just a handful of ingredients create a flavorful dish one of many to choose from. I ordered shirashi. It's fish on top of sushi rice. The tuna is great. I think the fish is great. And that's exactly what Yuka Seo likes to hear. I'm so happy if the people, you know, the smiling after eating. <laughs> And the complete recipe for the chicken teriyaki is available on our website at 7online.com. There are only about 20 seats or so at Katsuno, so sometimes dinner is tough to get in on the weekends, but yep. there's always lunch I can as see well. Why. I can see why it's excellent. Good. Absolutely wonderful. Rice I can't wait is spectacular. To check out the really recipe. Good, yes, and mm -hmm. it's so easy. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's really Steli in Queens is here making the ultimate comfort food, matzo ball soup. He's going to share his grandmother's secret to making a tender matzo ball. Thank you for coming in today, sir. Also, <laughs> platinum selling. Are we on TV? Yes. Cool. Uh, we are making, uh, <laughs> we're in the Good Day Cafe, and it's time to make matzo ball soup. You know, it is the ultimate food. It makes you feel better if you have, you're sick, you know, have a little matzo ball soup. And here to make it for us today is Jay Parker, the owner of Ben's Best Kosher Deli in Rigo Park, Queens. Jay, so nice to have Good you night. here. Pleasure to be here. Thank you to see you. So, so this right? is Thank your you. grandmother's recipe, huh? Well, yes. It's With a twist? Wi no, no, it's her recipe, but I'm going to give you her ultimate secret because you we're are? all friends. But we're going to wait a little Because usually now. chefs okay. don't like to do that. Well, for the greater good, we'll do this. I love this. Now, for the greater good. Your, your place was just voted uh, number one best deli in Queens recently? Well, we've been there for 65 years, and we've sort of been... What, sooner or later wow. you're going to get it? Wow. Well, we, we're, the, we're the best pastrami in the city, according to the New York Times, a few years back, and we've... But we low key it. Okay, yeah. I love it. We low key. So let's let's start with the matzo balls. Okay. You, what, how do we do that? First, we're going to start with the matzo balls. We're going to take four eggs. Okay. Now, this is all started when I was about seven years old. This is the first thing my grandmother ever showed me how to make in her kitchen on a really rainy day. And There's something about matzo ball soup that puts you in a better mood, doesn't it? Oh, well, it's something about grandmothers, too. <laughs> That's true. A little bit of club soda, about an ounce and a half. Club Maybe soda. Three tablespoons of... of uh, olive oil? Was that uh, olive oil? No, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Salt, okay. a patch of pepper. Mix all that in. Okay. I want to know where the secret comes in here. Secret. Well, this is the matzo part. What's that? Matzo That's meal? That's a matzo meal. Mm -hmm. A cup of matzo meal. We stir it up. We mix it in. And we get a nice consistency going. Yeah. Okay. It looks something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, 
The good part. See, chefs don't like part. to give the secret out. Good part. It's, he's going to make us pull it out of We him. put it in the ice box. Okay. 45 minutes. Then it comes out, and it looks like this. It's got a much thicker consistency. Much thicker consistency. Okay. Okay. Now, we have boiling water. Yes. I like to throw in a little bit of chicken stock to give it color and a little bit more flavor. Beautiful. Okay. Whoa! That's, that's all right. That's good, Jay. Yeah, okay. I love that. It's like my house. Okay. <laughs> then, we scoop out enough to make a matzo ball. Beautiful. Make it nice and round. Remember that they'll double in size. Okay. So size okay. Doesn't, is not important in matzo balls. Why? Well, Are you saying, you're asking if size <laughs> exactly. matters? Yeah, you can ignore it, Jay. Okay. <laughs> but generally, the ball does dominate the, uh, the, the, the bowl. Yes, What's yes, the yes, secret, yes. Jay? Okay. I feel like you still haven't given okay. me the secret here. What, what Grandma Fanny used to do, yes. because she was making the chicken soup at the same time, is she would take a little chicken fat, punch a little hole in the matzo ball, throw a little piece of chicken fat in it, seal it back up, oh. and do this. No wonder why it tastes so good. But remember, that was before they invented cholesterol. Right. <laughs> no wonder why it tastes so good. And so how long does it cook now in the chicken broth? Uh, well, this is uh, this should cook about a half an hour. Mm -hmm. And you keep your hands wet so that these things don't stick. Right. And then about a half an hour, they're pretty much done. I turn the heat down, let it sit till it, uh, for a few more minutes, and they should be nice and soft. The way to know that they're done is you, with the kitchen fork, you'll You'll pierce them, and when they're nice and soft, you want to try? Sure, When they're nice yeah. and soft, that's when you know they're done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to break it. you got to be oh, careful you won't break, you break it. it. Okay. You won't break it. It's fantastic. All right. Perfect. And then? The taste test. The taste oh, test. Jay, okay. thank you so much. Oh, one for you. Beautiful. Jay, appreciate it. Okay, if you're interested for Jay's complete matzo ball soup recipe, you can log on to our website, myfoxny.com, and click on the Good Day tab. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Perfect. How is it? Delicious? Excellent, excellent. And are you good enough for the good... Picking up a man while he was eating. I can't, okay, look. All right, when it comes to eating out, a lot of people would love to be able to dine at top-notch restaurants without paying the top-notch price. So we have Sarah Gardner here, a lifestyle expert, with some meals and deals for under 30 bucks. Absolutely. Okay, uh, now... Talk to me. This is a French restaurant, no, right? No, no. This is Italian. Italian. This is Fruity de Marie. Okay. They're located on the corner of 4th Street and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. They've got an early bird special for $10.95 per person. They're going to give you the delicious soup du jour. It's their mm -hmm. carrot soup, creamy carrot soup. Aye. You're going to try a little? Yes. Yeah, creamy carrot soup Absolutely. Right here. And then they're going to give you a super salad. Mm -hmm. And then you get to choose from nine different entrees. One, of course, they've got five different pastas. For example, their creamy fettuccine primavera with Let's their... Let's get back to the soup thing. <laughs> Joey, well, you got to come over. The soup is we're good. We're moving along. Now, this is their... This, they'll also give you on um, choose from their four different right, chicken dishes. Right, this is their chicken parmesan. And it comes this. with... The linguine, it's got the fresh marinara sauce. Taste that marinara sauce, really great. <laughs> and they'll include, for the 1095, a glass of wine or, you know, a soft drink or super salad. Now, oh. come on, Montel, follow hey, me. Oh, follow me. Hi, Jody. This is America. Hello. Wait, Good I gotta give Jody a taste <laughs> of this. Nice to meet you. The well, we've got in Darling, French, it, American it, it, French it, 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 cuisine, Montel it, it, and Jody. We've got mm. at, it's at the Village Restaurant, located at 62 West 9th Street. They've got, for $25 per person, they'll serve you either a soup, a creamy corn asparagus soup, a little, or a there. salad. Then, second course, they'll serve you out of four entrees. They're organic, juicy chicken mm. with roasted potatoes. You know and, what? This and, is... And, and uh, the spinach. Or they'll serve you... Try that, Montel. Okay. It's the ravioli with the shatuki mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And then, for dessert, they're going to serve you, you're standing right over it, mm -hmm. the cream caramelized brulee. Mm -hmm. And that's at the Village Restaurant for $25 per person. It's a beautiful, elegant restaurant with skylight dining. All right, so I, Next, dug out, I dug out of this restaurant for two people, it's 50 <laughs> bucks for that one, it's 20 something bucks. 25 bucks. bucks. Now we're at the Cub Room. Wait, this they is are called located, New American? It's a new American cuisine. What makes at it so the new? Cub Room. Well, you're going to see. Look at, look at what okay. we've got. Now, for $29 per person, you're going to get out of their seven appetizers. That's their famous Maryland crab cake. If you don't know, <laughs> I'm from Maryland, I'm going to tell you something. All Everybody right. around the world perpetrates. I'll tell you if this is All real right. or good right, All right now. And then we're moving on along to the um, 
this is their marinated delicious steak and uh, that's they'll, you can choose from four different entrees that's one of them or their mahi mahi fish mm -hmm. and for dessert they're going to give you chocolate cake now remember that's twenty nine dollars per person no. so we are talking about fabulous deals on meals anywhere from ten ninety five to twenty nine dollars in manhattan and you know what montel and jody new york has the most fabulous restaurants in the world. I mean, we're talking about everything. I have to agree. I think you can find anything you want to eat in the city for any price you want. And these are some really good choices. Okay. At the price range we're talking about, but I, everybody's got to skip this and you save another five bucks. <laughs> skip the dessert part. Oh, we're wow. Dr. Salvatore around here. Tell them, Unless skip it's the dessert. included. If it's included, you have to eat it because if it's free, it has no, no calories. That's right. That's we're talking oh, is that how it works? <laughs> if it's free, you didn't eat it. And anything we eat here on the show while standing up? has no calories. There you go. Well, uh, 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 where are we going now? We got to go to somebody else? Because I'm going to keep eating. No, you keep eating. I'm and I'll, eating. I'll uh, thank our guests for wearing purple, especially. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Oh, you thank you. Thank you. And coming up, these are all non-smoking restaurants, of course, because you can't Absolutely. smoke Absolutely. And we're talking about there. elegant. We've got, we've got, they've got lounges and bars. I only said life. that because Dr. Steve is going to talk about how to help people kick the habit. <laughs> and Dr. Things that are warm all day. I'm Lauren Glassberg with Neighborhood Eats coming up. And I'm Eddie That's going to warm you up this weekend. It's all coming up next in Neighborhood Eats. Plus, you'll need it because we're expecting a whole lot of snow weather. Perfect for enjoying a bowl of hot soup. Just by coincidence. That's mm. exactly what we're featuring in Lauren Glassberg's <laughs> Neighborhood Eats. Tonight. I'm ready for some soup. And how about soup that sticks to your ribs? Love that. Mm. Yes, good. thick, hearty soup. And there's a good chance that you've never had this kind of soup before because it's very hard to find. They serve it at Island Grill, which is located at 2279. Coney Island Avenue, and that's in Brooklyn. This is the place I recommend for everybody. She's talking about Island Grill, a taste of the Middle East right in Flatbush. The food here is glock kosher and non-dairy, so that means there's lots of meat on the rotisserie, on the grill, and on the plate. How's everything? Very good. Yeah. Nachman Selka is the owner. I actually always dreamt about owning an, a restaurant. My family said, nah, at this age you'll never start it. I said, you never know. And in fact, four years ago, he left his job on Wall Street, where he'd been for 30 years, and now he's keeping people well fed. Everything I taste is mouth watering. I never had something that I said, oh, let me give it back. It's like unbelievable. Every time I come, I try something new. I could trust this place. There are more than two dozen salads from hummus to baba ganoush with freshly made bread called lava, sort of like a pita. There's always matzo ball soup, but have you ever had Yemenite soup? It's good for the winter. Very good. It's heavy, make you full and hot and warm. <laughs> Chef Avi first sautes onions and then adds beef shoulder. Once that browns, he adds a collection of spices, including Hawaii. That's a mix of spices, including cumin. Potatoes with some water and tomato paste are added. It's simmered for three hours, and the result a soup that's just shy of a stew. And while the food may be kosher, you don't have to be kosher or religious to dine at Island Grill. I have actually a very diverse crowd. I really enjoy seeing people enjoy themselves. And if you're looking for a new soup recipe, we'll have this one, Island Grill's Yemenite Soup, on our website, 7online.com. Really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Light uh, a fire. We're all <laughs> make set. Your, make your you know, soup and warm up. Fuzzy slippers. We're exactly. good to go. This will put good. hair on your chest. <laughs> it's got a little kick. Oh, yeah. I hope not. Good kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we head to Brooklyn. Yep, this is Brooklyn, a marina in Sheepshead Bay, and it's also home to Clemente's Crab House. We're serving up crabs coming up. Life's 20th anniversary. It's Friday, which means Neighborhood Eats, one of my favorite crabs mm -hmm. and you know all about Maryland crabs that's right so we're gonna Maryland. check them out today does it pass the test does it pass the test the restaurant we are heading to ships their crabs in every single day from Maryland so that is certainly a uh -huh. good start and good if you start. get to Clemente's Crab House you can get there by car or for by boat it's located at 3939 Emmons Avenue in Sheepshead Bay Brooklyn one trip to Maryland and Jimmy Muir was hooked on Maryland blue crabs. He liked them so much he put them on the menu at a restaurant he used to own in Manhattan. It became one bushel, two bushels. After a couple of weeks, we were selling 20 bushels. He took the idea and ran with it, opening Clemente's Crab House. It's set on the Venice Marina in Sheepshead Bay, and you might just feel like you're in Maryland. 
One night a week, it's all you can eat. You can sit on the water and eat crabs, pull up on your boat and enjoy some crabs. And we're the only one in New York City that has all you can eat Maryland blue crabs. And the price is right because you can yeah. eat 100 crabs and it's still okay. the same price. No limit, no time limit, no crab limit. There are also wings, crab cakes, fancy drinks, beers in buckets, beer battered Twinkies. But it's the crabs, and they come two ways. The traditional Maryland style, in which the crabs are steamed in fiery Old Bay seasoning. The other way, a Florida favorite. Jimmy pours lots of cloves of garlic into hot oil. He mixes in butter, parsley, red pepper flakes, wine, and salt. The steamed crabs go right in the pot and become infused with the rich garlic sauce. You can have them side by side. But make sure you wear a bib. We're going to get messy. There's no fortune names involved. Just get in there with your hands and a wooden mallet. <laughs> Which is more popular, the garlic or the Old Bay? A lot of people like the garlic because they're less spicy. They start off with the garlic and then they go break into the Old Bay at the end. I think the garlic would probably be my preference. Well, I kind of like the spicy stuff, so I like the spicy ones better. Uh -huh. And as a Labor Day treat, we will have both the Maryland Old Bay recipe and the Florida garlic crab recipe for you on our website at 7online.com. All I know is that Chad A goes, these are good. These are good. <laughs> good. I know. I was a little skeptical. I know, because you're a tried and true excellent. Maryland crab fan. I know. I know. Right? You know when it's not right. You're a right. So this is right. This is good. Good. This Enjoy. Is really Happy good. Labor Thank Day, you. everyone. Good job. Tom. I got my shrimp. <laughs> and the world will begin ushering in a new year. Rosh Hashanah is one of the holiest days of the Jewish calendar. It's a time to look back at past mistakes, make resolutions to improve for the future. As with any celebration, food's a big old centerpiece. In this case, the meal comes with a meaning. Joining us to explain all of this is Sarah Gardner, editor in chief of Fashion Update magazine. Always a pleasure. Wonderful to be here. We are talking about on this Friday night great. first. We dip the apple in the honey, and we say a special <laughs> prayer to. It's all about having a sweet new. Year. Then we dip the round challah from Shop Night Gourmet. Ooh. You can find it in Dagostinos and Shoprite and, and Pathmark. You dip the raisin challah in the honey, also to be blessed for a happy, sweet New Year. And also, you know, the reason it's round right. is to remind us that the circle, the circle of the New Year, that gotcha. it's the circle of the New Year. So it's all about sweetness. Then we move on along to the kafilta fish, very European. The chicken soup, appetizer chicken soup with canada lock and crepe lock. It's also round to remind us of the circle of the New Year. It's also pretty, too. I it's love that. It's delicious. It's like matzo balls and like a dumpling. Mm -hmm. Then we eat a lot of sweet meat, like honey glazed chicken, honey glazed veal, ch cabbage. You so can what try is this some. right here? That's honey glazed chicken. And a famous dish, hi Mike, uh, a famous uh, dish feed me. is simus. Simus is a famous <laughs> dish. It's food, carrots huh? and raisins and it's very sweet, the simus. Ooh, that looks and great. then you were asking me just a second about oh, the here, noodle kugel. The oh, noodle kugel, all this is from Essex on Coney. I didn't cook it, guys. It's from Brooklyn. Oh, and then okay. this is, oh, the dessert is also from Shop Day Gourmet. They've got a whole line of take a lock. Honey cake is really important. Oh, um, Joe is trying the babka, the chocolate awesome. babka, say, and the marble cake. And the they also, I'm going to. at Shop Day Gourmet, they have a whole line of glutton free cake. Here's this. And then, <laughs> on Sunday, we're going to bring the show We got to go. It's so <laughs> good to have you here, Sarah. Thank you. Fox 5 at 5 coming up. We're going to eat now. Mm -hmm. Rosh Hashanah. Yeah. Great stuff. We're Shana Toba to everybody. Umasuka. Happy Sweet New Year. There you go. Have the arguing. Fox 5's Good Day New York First Edition. What New Yorkers watch. Yes, and if you don't feel like cooking this Thanksgiving, we're going to take a look at some. Is it prefix or prixfix or prix prefix? I think is. I it think that's what it is. Where you pay a set price at the restaurant and they give you the, the whole one. spread. We'll take a look at some places where you can get a good deal all across town coming up this Thursday. We'll also have the full weather forecast. You're watching Fox 5's Good Day New York First Edition. What New Yorkers watch. Coming up, it is not too late to get that Thanksgiving restaurant reservation. Get a pen and a piece of paper and get ready for some deals on great meals. And let's talk. <laughs> Coming up, why bother cooking this Thanksgiving when you can have someone else do it for you? Maybe you're just sticky. How did that stick to your it's, face? It's a weird trick I've had since childhood. Uh, anyway, it's not too late to get a reservation at a nice restaurant for Thanksgiving. We will have your deals for your holiday meals coming up right after this. That's stuff you only get on Good Day New York. That's, that's good stuff. 
All right, if you want a great Thanksgiving dinner, but you don't want to cook it yourself, we've got some great choices for you. Three or four course meals to celebrate the special time, and they won't cost you a fortune either. Here with some Thanksgiving deals on meals is lifestyle expert Sarah Gardner. Thanks very much for being here. It's wonderful to be here. Get your spoon and your fork ready. Here we go. <laughs> you don't at, have to tell me twice. <laughs> at Agave at 147th Avenue South. First, they're going to give you a drink. I love the pumpkin styled eggnog. It's Ooh. delicious. Now, for the appetizer, I'm just gonna do that they've too. got three different appetizers that include their delicious, it's called their Teja Blue Crab Chowder. It's creamy and cheesy. Oh, they've got three different options. Entrees that include their turkey, it's a traditional turkey dinner, it's free organic, or you can go with their delicious pumpkin crusted sesame with rice and vegetables. And last for dessert, they've got their macadamia pumpkin pie. Mm. That's at the Cub Room okay, at 147th when, Avenue South. Now, when we say prefix, does this include a glass of wine generally, or this, is that an add on? That's an add on. Especially or at tax and tip? Oh, yes, tax and definitely. Next, at the Riverdale Garden, they're located at 4576 College, Manhattan College Parkway in the Bronx. First course, choose from three different entrees that include their beet salad with this delicious camembert cheese. Second course is their entrees. Again, they'll serve you turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce. Or you can go with their pistachio crusted. It's on you pork see tenderloin. In. I'm reaching in hard. Absolutely. Right now. With the chards and the cipollini. And they've got these grits that have got like bacon and cheese flavor. It's delicious. And for dessert, Jody and Chris, we're talking about my favorite. Choose from three. Either go with the pecan pie or my favorite is the pumpkin cheesecake. Really, really delicious. Mm, looks very good. Is that good. delicious? Definitely. I still got the meat in my mouth, so I can't have dessert Brazilian. Yet. Now we're talking about Brazilian Thanksgiving Day at Churrascaria, Plataforma Tribeca, located at 221 West Broadway in Tribeca, for $50 per person. First, you're going to start with 15 different salads. This is an elegant restaurant. You get up to their salad bar, and they've got 15 different salads they've even got for the vegetarian. Next, they've got the turkey, the stuffing, the cranberry sauce, the corn. Susan, and I if wanna, that's I wanna... not enough, Chris, these yeah. men are walking around with meat, 15 different styles of meat on skewers like you're seeing. This is their famous picanha, which is a Brazilian style meat. This one Amazing. is the ribeye covered with garlic. You've got to try this. This is the beef rib. It's like butter. And if that's not enough, they're going to serve you 10 different side dishes at Churrascaria Plataforma Tribeca. Apparently, this, this is where the Brazilian. Flintstones will be dining for this Thanksgiving. This looks like cartoon <laughs> meat. Elegant, very, very elegant restaurant. They've got a piano bar, really beautiful place. Uh -oh. mm, it's delicious. That looks fantastic. Very Red nice. meat lovers or turkey Next. lovers, whatever you want. What do you got over here now? Next, at the Cub Room, located at 131 Sullivan Street in Soho, for $65 per person. Choose from their three different on entrees. That includes Go ahead, their famous, can I try it? Yeah, that's their famous crab cake. Oh. Or you can go with their butternut squash soup. And second, they've got also their traditional turkey. They've got for for instead of turkey, you can go with their, their delicious duck. It's braised, it's got eggplant and vegetables. Mm. And last, the pumpkin pie for dessert. And they'll start, serve you tea or coffee. Jody and Chris, all these restaurants are elegant. We're talking about like a townhouse at the right. Riverside Garden mm. in the Bronx. It's like a townhouse. They've got a fireplace. They've got mm. a piano bar at Churrascaria Plataforma. At the Cub Room, they've got like a bar when you walk in and very elegant, dark, romantic. It's great places to take the entire family. And there's so much food here, you could get a doggy bag if you really like the leftover oh, aspect of Thanksgiving. Oh, God, it's, it's a feast, a Thanksgiving Day feast. Unbelievable. I'm going to be taking more advantage during the commercial break. I can guarantee <laughs> that. Susan Gardner, or Sarah Gardner. I'm so yeah. sorry, Sarah. Thank Aww. you so much for coming in. Lifestyle Thank expert, you. we appreciate it. Happy Thank Thanksgiving you. to Happy you. Happy Thanksgiving to both of you. Oh, to you too. I just want to get over this here because I want to ask Chris something. It's okay, a rare. Currently does not take a holiday during this Holy Week. The economic downturn is having an impact on the Jewish holiday of Passover. More details now from New York One's Samuel King. Customers filed into Bin's Best Deli in Rigo Park to pick up their orders of matzo ball soup, fish, and other traditional items for the Passover week. They tried not to keep the down economy from letting them enjoy the holiday. Passover is Passover, and I think sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and do what you got to do to celebrate the holiday. So uh, it was a little expensive this year, but it's important to me and my family, and we just did what we had to do. It's, nothing's changed for me. I mean. 
It's harder, I would say, this year than last year, but still we spend the same. But while those customers say they're not doing anything differently, owner Jay Parker estimates business is down 15 to 20 percent from past years. Some of our customers that would, were buying much more are buying a little bit less. And, and we have customers that were buying for us for many, many years, and, and I've never ha heard them say, gee, how much is that, you know? Parker says this economic downturn is different from those in the past. People are worried that if they spend the money, they're not going to be able to replace it. I think people look at their 401ks and understand now it's a 201k. One group seeing that firsthand is the Queens Jewish Community Council. Executive Director Cynthia Zaliski says the council helped 1,000 families in the weeks leading up to Passover last year. This year, it's helped 3,000. Our pantry is totally empty. Three times we replenished, and we are still. All right, we'll check back in uh, with that in just a moment. Well, finding an elegant restaurant for a delicious dinner is not a challenge in New York City, but finding one where you can get the meal for under 30 bucks, now that's the challenge. Well, that's why we've brought in an expert. Our next guest says, not if you know where to go. Here with some impressive deals on meals is lifestyle expert Sarah Gardner. Welcome, Sarah. Great to be here. Okay, first we're going to start, Chris and Jody, in Italian food at La great. Prima it's Donna. The beauty of these, under 30 bucks, and you get it looks like you get a ton of food. Yes, they're at 163 West 47th Street. You're going to start with their Salada de Pepe. Jody, it's arugula salad and this house vinaigrette with pecorino cheese and delicious pears and walnuts. Mm, I love the pears. Second course, you're gonna, they have three different main courses. This is their delicious po, it's their pasta bow tie with mm. their delicious salmon, smoked salmon. Mm. Or you can go with their grilled chicken and spinach. Okay. So you have delicious. a choice of those two, right? Absolutely. Okay, so. And for dessert, fa my favorite is this flourless chocolate cake with I'm this nut color. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard though, isn't it? There's so much food. <laughs> With this Nutella delicious filling and ice cream. Now at La Prima Donna, you can, it's amazing. For $24.95, mm -hmm. Fridays and Saturdays is jazz night. Oh, now, great. Next, so you get some added entertainment as well. Absolutely. This in is uh, Asian Chance? French, Chance. Chance. At 223 I've Smith Street. Said it in, in an Carol, affected French accent. In Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn. Now for $26 okay. per person, you're going to start with the seared sesame tuna. It's in this garlic ginger. Try this. This is amazing. When it's mango can I, can salsa sauce, delicious, very delicious. Jody's and the official taste. They're going to serve you their famous signature dim sum. It's dumplings from crispy mm. crab, lobster, and shrimp, and it's steamed dumplings or you know deep fried. Yep. Now that's that's so. They're going to also serve you for the mm. second course, the main course, which is their delicious ribeye steak. With their roasted potatoes. Now you get a steak knife with that, right? You don't or, have to eat that with the, uh, <laughs> no. with the chopsticks. That could be trouble. <laughs> or you can go with their crispy shrimp. It's in a Grand Marnier sauce. Oh, oh that's my God, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, with right. these delicious honey walnuts. Go ahead. And for the third course, you can get you can choose from three different um, desserts. This mm. is, happens to be their banana crispy spring roll. And last in right. Indian food at Bombay Palace. Located at 30 West 52nd Street, they've got a four-course dinner for $29.95. I now, love Indian first food. First course, choose from their okay, choose from their What's seven that? different. This is it. There's seven oh, different okay. appetizers. It's their chicken tikka. Right. It's marinated overnight with yogurt and spices. It's delicious. Second course, they're going to give you either soup. Or down there at the corner, yes, right? or salad for second course. Now they're going to make the naan bread fresh in their oven. They make it fresh for you. It's delicious. Third course, choose from nine different main courses. This is my favorite. It's a chicken madras. It's made with mm, coconut milk. Okay. Or if you're a vegetarian, you can go with their vegetable jal frizi. And last course is their delicious rasmali. Mm. It's baked. It's homemade yeah. cottage cheese with sweet milk. Unbelievable deals on meals. And you know so, what? Fabulous food in New York. It All is in great. New York. All for under 30 bucks. Absolutely. You can take your cheap date out, and it'll be a great, great <laughs> night. Sarah Gardner, thank you very much thank for being here. Head to Brooklyn. Yep, this is Brooklyn. I'm a editor in chief of Fashion Update Magazine. And I got to tell you, Sarah, Delicious. so far, I love having you here, but I am like a kid on Christmas morning oh, right now God, with you, all this stuff. Absolutely. Now, for French food, we're okay. at Jubilee 51. They're at 329 West 51st Street. Right. They've got for $24.95 three course. Choose from super salad. I chose the mushroom soup. Looks fabulous. For the second course, main course, they're big on their muscles. Okay. They have their sister restaurant, and this is what they're famous for. This All is right. a Catalan. They've prepared five different ways. This is the... Um, 
this looks buttery, amazing. Buttery, parsley, and garlic mussels. They fly it fresh in from Prince Edward Island in Canada, Winder. Also, this is the coconut, the chili style. Ooh. And this is, again, the Catalan. Or if you don't want mussels, you can go with their... Over here, there's salmon, and now oh, they've fabulous. got this fabulous dessert. This is called a nouvelle parfait. It's a right. frozen dessert with um, whipping cream and delicious caramel and frozen almonds. Mm -hmm. And this is a great place. It's a French restaurant bistro, and, and it's fabulous. And how much fabulous. is it again for three it's courses? $24.95 for a three course That's meal. That's amazing. Now look for Mexican food. We're at Alma's in Brooklyn. They're at 187 Columbia Street. Ooh. They were voted the third best Mexican restaurant in Brooklyn. First okay. for $19 a four course tasting menu. 19 bucks? Yes, you can choose from a super salad, mm -hmm. which has a salad. Second course is the appetizer. I went with the braised duck with citrus Ooh. fruits on top and a chili sauce. Delicious. I would try to eat that, but that looks Absol a little sloppy right now for me. Cr it's crispy. And for the third course, which is the entree, the main course, I chose the mahi mahi, which is a light fish dish with okay. the amarillo sauce, which is a chili sauce with fruits and tomatoes. Okay, wait a second. Is this going to be really hot if I eat this right now? No, it's supposed to be It's not going to take my breath away? Semi, a little semi-sweet. Okay. Semi semi spicy right. and for the dessert you can choose from their spicy spicy chocolate cake That's or fabulous. you can go with their flan linda or their key lime pie again $19 per person. That's and amazing. you've got to get over there between 5.30 and 7.30, Monday to Friday. Last, in American okay. hey, cuisine... Hey, look, look, Sarah, don't rush me here. I'm trying to eat the dessert. <laughs> I know. Come on. I know. Now, for Work American cuisine, we're talking about Ask the Village Restaurant at 62 West 9th Street. You're loving this, oh I think. Oh, my gosh. I, for I love 20, you today. I know. For $25 per person, mm -hmm. we're going to start with... Their chicken is amazing. It's organic. They prepare it fresh, so it's going to be crispy and juicy with the roasted potatoes I'm and the spinach. They'll give you wine or, you know, for your husband, draft beer. Right. Or you can have a soup or salad or the dessert. I chose the caramelized cream brulee. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. And this restaurant is a lot of fun. You walk in, there's a bar, and mm. then a beautiful rooftop dining room, very classy. Again, $25. You know and something, that's you, really incredible. They'll serve you coffee. I know. Is this a great deal? And we're talking about great deals on meals, saving lots of money. Mm -hmm. And also, look at all the food we're getting. Great quality food. This is really tremendous. At great yeah. deals. Beautiful, all beautiful restaurants from French, mm. Mexican to American cuisine. Now, if you don't want this, they also have the veal ravioli okay. with the mini mushrooms and they have dr with wine sauce, or you can go with their poached salmon oh. with uh, the shrimp inside. Okay. And I love the dessert, the parfait. It was an, oh God, the, the, the pear parfait was to die for. Oh, well, everything <laughs> really looks terrific. Sarah, thank you so oh. much again for coming in. Loved it's good to it. see you. Loved it. Great to see you. This thank is my you. favorite segment so far. You know that. Thank you. Uh, John, I would like to be able to say I'm going to bring some of this over for you, but sure. I'm not. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I figure I'll, have, I'll be doing the rest of the program all by myself. <laughs> oh, the Super Bowl means super parties, but what are you supposed to do when you're on one of those really boring low-carb diet. Joining us right now with some solutions for you is Sarah Gardner. She's the editor-in-chief of Fashion Update magazine. And I know because you're with a fashion magazine, you deal with a lot of health issues, oh, absolutely. a lot of weight issues, Very things important. like that. So tell me, what have you brought for us here today right, that well, we can eat? Absolutely. At Wholesale Market at 93 on um, University Place, right. they had all these Atkins treats. We're talking about chips. They've got them in barbecue and regular. Okay. And yes, they taste great. You they do really taste absolutely. good? Absolutely. Are these barbecue? Please. This is I've regular. never had Atkins stuff, so. Really, give it a try. And they've got these low-carb dips. By pa they've got them in pasta and, mm. and red pepper. Really See, now, this is really good. But it's if so I had, good. like, a crab dip to dip oh, it in, yeah, it would be even better. We have to have, like, a recipe for a crab dip, which oh, is fabulous. an Atkins. That's because you found it on the Atkins. Okay. And also, they've got the biscotti. Um, you know, Atkins chocolate. biscotti? Actually, this is a chocolate-covered, low-carb, uh, smarted carb, and it's biscotti. They've got an almond and chocolate chip. Mm. We found also, this is, look, it's an Atkins patty you can make for your Super Bowl party. Uh -huh. You can do uh, low-carb low pasta and have with your grilled chicken. And this is great, Terrific. also great as well. And they have also have at Wholesale Market, also Atkins candy bars. 
for protein. Right, okay. All right. So now what do we got here as far as the chicken wings go? Well, they look really good. Absolutely. For the Super Bowl party, we can't you gotta go have anywhere chicken wings. without yeah, chicken wings. We found at Stephen's Son's Bakery and okay. Catering. They're at 93 Church Avenue in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. They're making a low-carb chicken. It's Now, usually chicken... Wait a second. Fried. What's a low-carb chicken? Well, you know, usually the buffalo wings are fried and they're battered. They're right. fried and battered. Which is what makes them yeah, really exactly, good. Exactly. Exactly. And it's battered and floured. There's no flour here. We're oh. talking about baked with delicious jalapeno okay. peppers and spices. So it's definitely low carb. It's with a low calorie, you know, this is a, a sour cream dip. It's okay. going to be very But peppery. low calorie as well. Absolutely, with jalapeno peppers and okay. cayenne pepper. Let's now, move on to the chili here. Okay, with the, Atkins, with the Atkins and the South Beach diet, this is the first phase of the diet, you're allowed to have chili. Now it's made with meat and it's made with cheese and tomatoes. So this mm -hmm. is what you're allowed to have. And usually, you know, you've got to abstain from your, your pasta and your bread and your cakes and your your um your fruits. Right. Also at Lots Stephen of veggies, Sons. of course. Yeah, and yeah real is, quickly. And what is, is this, this here, is, real quickly? This is vegetable patties. And oh, it's made okay. with a wheat crust. It's really delicious. Yeah. And I loved it. You know, you can do okay. this stuff on your own, but we got this at Stephen's. All right, Sons. I'll try this um, as I uh, toss back over to John here. Now, if you want any of the recipes for the Super Bowl party on Sunday, all you have to do is log on to Atkins.com. All right, let me try this. What do you think? That's actually good. Steven Sun. It's a veggie it's patty. Who knew? <laughs> John, over to you. Yeah, right. Hey, guys, I got veggie patties at the party. <laughs> this you go to a restaurant there's no menu waiters just keep bringing you delicious food until you tell them to stop there's a restaurant in Tribeca where you can get that kind of service for one low price it's just one of the deals on meals we're talking about this week with Sarah Gardner she's the editor-in-chief of fashion update magazine good to see you it's wonderful to be here so you've got some more delicious treats oh deals on meals now in classic Italian food at Frutti di Marie located on the corner of 4th Street and 2nd Avenue for 10.95 per person they've got an early bird special you've got to get in there from 12 o'clock to 6 30 but we're talking about they'll serve you a soup of soup of the day which is this delicious creamy carrot soup or you and then they'll give you a garden salad then you can choose from 10 main courses including this delicious chicken parmigiana with linguine sauce on the side served with marinara sauce very homemade or you can go with their fettuccine primavera with delicious broccoli and carrots and zucchini they'll give you a glass of wine or a soft drink or tea next in brazilian food you were just talking about it's called Churrascaria Plataforma Trebeca. They've got two locations, one in Trebeca and one on 49th Street. It's a royal feast there. For $46.95 per person, they're going to give you on the table crispy shrimps, roquettes, croquettes with meat, pastels. This is where it begins. They've got 15 to 20 different salads to choose from. You get up and you get to the salad bar. Then waiters come around with succulent 15 to 20 different delicious juicy meats on a skewer. I chose their famous picanha Brazilian steak. It's a top sirloin steak. It's served with this delicious Brazilian sauce. And I also chose this ribeye steak with um, covered with garlic. And if that's not enough, they're going to give you eight side dishes wow. from crispy bananas to, to delicious Yukons and rice and Brazilian sauce. It's an elegant, beautiful, elegant restaurant. Next, in Asian food at Cooper 35 at 35 Cooper Square on 3rd Avenue. You've got to get in there, though, from 12, from actually 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening. For $15 per person, they'll give you a four-course meal. Choose from a soup or a salad. I chose the feta salad. Or you can go second course. They're famous delicious crab cakes or their spring rolls. Third course, choose from eight different entrees. I chose the trout covered with the delicious sauce and sesame with asparagus and brown rice. And they give you a large portion of oriental vegetables. And they'll give you a complimentary strawberry shortcake served with seasonal, their delicious seasonal strawberries. And they just opened up the garden outside. The atmosphere is romantic. They've got flowers and fountains. Unbelievable. $15 per person. Great deals on meals. Sounds very good. And for those of us who work the early morning shift, we like the early times that you have to go to eat. So. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you. For more deals on meals or just about anything else, you can pick up a copy of Fashion Update magazine. You can also go online to fashionupdate.com.